So in preparation for this video, both Leah and I came up with five things that we could not live without. And it was kind of interesting seeing them put together, so I hope you enjoy this journey. <laughs> hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today, Leah and I are going to be walking through 10 things that we can't live without. 10 things. This episode is sponsored by Trademore. Trademore is an awesome way to buy or sell an old smartphone, but we're gonna be talking about them later in the video. This video is inspired by the GQ theme that you see on YouTube, people answering this question who are much more famous than we are, and also a uh, question from one of our Patreon supporters. Instead of being the rich and famous response to that, we're gonna talk about the sustainable things that we have in our life that actually make a really big difference. Yeah, Some of them are fun too. So yeah. Mainly sustainable, but I mean also, like, you know, girls gotta have fun. Girls just wanna have fun. That's all I really want. <laughs> oh, oh. As you can see, we have this little microphone down in front of us here, just in case you were wondering what this little blip was in the bottom of the frame. Starting off our list, number one is our cast iron fry pan. This one actually came from my grandmother who passed away this year, and it is a vintage La Crusette. Très bon. Uh, C'est incroyable. Uh, le pain au fry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, having a good cast iron fry pan is awesome just because they cook food in such a consistent way because of the thickness of the metal and the way that it heats up regardless of what kind of stove you're using. This one happens to be enormous. But we also have like a baby size one. You know, for like normal days when you're not wanting to make pancakes that are literally the size of your face. <laughs> the next thing still within the kitchen realm is my love of pottery. I have a bit of an obsession with pottery. Actually, you can see more pottery behind me on the wall. <laughs> One of the things that I was really aware of when we were spending our wedding money on pottery was that my parents had a beautiful set of plates that they were given at their wedding, and it took them like 20 years to actually start using them. Whereas I wanna be able to use these beautiful objects in our everyday life, uh, hopefully they don't break, but there's no point kind of saving it for that special yeah. occasion. Every day can be that special occasion. The other great thing is that we are supporting local artists. All four of the pieces I just showed you are from a place called Hands on Clay Collective right here in Victoria. And it's a community of local potters who sell their amazing work. Now, what if you only had to pick one piece of pottery? One piece, a singular piece, only one for the rest of your life. I think I would have to go with the mug, but now I'm regretting this decision, I don't know. Number three on the list is not nearly as sophisticated, a Frisbee. But a special Patagonia Frisbee. Absolutely, um, this was gifted to me and uh, it came out of my love for throwing things around outside. Honestly, you give me a ball, uh, a Frisbee, a well-shaped stick, and uh, I will have tons of fun outside. <laughs> but Frisbee is definitely my favorite. There's something about being able to like sling something through the air and see it floating. Uh, that's just like so miraculous and awesome. It brings me a lot of joy and whenever I feel like I just need to get outside and be silly for a little bit, the Frisbee is how I do that. Secretly, Levi is also a dog. I talk about I need to take him out for a walk, I gotta get some of his energy out. So having the Frisbee is a great tool for me to kind of help manage Levi's energy. <laughs> I'm the dog. Yeah, you're the dog. You're like a, like a golden retriever puppy. Oh, that'd be cute. Cause you know, they're kind of lanky. The glump, glump along. The other one that seriously, we could not live without every single day is the tushy bidet. Uh, if there are bidet deniers out there or bidet, I don't know. Skeptics. Skeptics. I, I'm sorry, I have no sympathy for you. They are excellent. People around the world have been using them. North America is way behind. Having that fresh feeling in your undercarriage, it, there's nothing quite like it. 
We lived with uh, our various family members over 2020 and the lack of the day was noticeable. I didn't think that it would actually have that big of an impact on our lives, but honestly, once you go splash, you never go back. Absolutely. I just made that up on the spot. Did you that, did. Did See, it no, work? No, it was pretty good. See, the only thing that was in my head was a TikTok thing. It's like, I'll be damned if I listen to the words of a man with an unwashed ass. That's how I feel. Number five on the list is my iPhone 11 Pro. Leah, I'm sure could live without a phone for days on end, but I unfortunately am very addicted to this device in my pocket, um, which brings us nicely to today's sponsor for this video, which is Trademore. Yeah, Trademore. Trademore, if you do not know, is an online marketplace where you can buy and sell your used smartphone or other device. Not only does this keep tech out of the landfill, but it also saves you money at the same time. I've said a bunch of times on this channel that you should try and buy stuff secondhand whenever possible, and your smartphone is no exception. E-waste is a huge issue globally, and now Trademore is making it even easier for you to cut down on that waste. It can be really inconvenient and daunting for some people to try and buy or sell a device online, but Trademore makes that really easy because they vet all of the products that they sell through a 30 point inspection system to make sure that they work as perfectly as they can. So skip all of the legwork associated with trying to buy or sell your old smartphone and go through Trademore instead. It'll make everything so much easier for you and the planet. Sadly, this activation is only available for the US audiences on this channel. I gotta give a very Canadian sorry to all of my Canadian fans. But if you are in the United States, you can save 10% off your entire order right now by using the code down in the description below. Thanks again to Trademore for sponsoring this video, and uh, let's get into our next subject, which is Leah's. Oh, I have to go get it. Uh, this is the thing that I get the most compliments on, the Ghana basket. I have had this beauty for at least 10 years. Uh, my mom got it for me years ago, and it's actually such a beast. Like we have put so many heavy things in here, including growlers, things we buy at the farmer's market, and it has always withstood the test of time. Yeah, honestly, we have abused this basket and we use it almost on a daily basis and somehow it is still not broken. So kudos to the people who built it because uh, you did a great job. This is a beautiful way to look super stylish and have all of your groceries in a safe place. If we show up at a potluck with the Ghana basket, Leah will actually insist on walking into the party holding the basket with our entree so that people see her with it. It's really cute. I don't want the compliment to go to you. Oh my god. Our next item uh, could not be brought into the apartment without being a giant disaster, and that is my bicycle. Now, both Lee and I cycle quite a bit, and you might have seen videos on this channel in the past where we've talked about our love for our bikes. The reasons why we love our bikes are uh, long and probably deserve their own video, but in short, Riding your bike is amazing. Most recently, we rode our bikes to Vancouver and did a whole multi-day trip there. And it was such a wonderful way to go on a trip off of the island, but to also feel like the journey of getting there was just as important as the trip itself. Being on a bike is such a great way to travel because you get to see and experience your trip in a very personal and intimate way. So the next one for me is my rejuvenating facial oil. Really, I don't know why it says rejuvenating, but instead of using a face cream every day, I use this oil. And that's because I have quite dry skin. And the great thing about this is that it's refillable. I actually have a whole bunch of things from a local place here in Victoria where they refill the bottles that you have. It's locally made and you're able to reuse them as many times as you can. We've had a lot of questions from people asking Leah for like her makeup routine or her like hair care routine. Maybe we'll do something like that in another <laughs> video, but yeah, this is the stuff she uses. As someone who doesn't actually wear a lot of makeup most of the time, the most important is this facial oil. I find that my skin feels healthier and smoother if it's the cold of winter or if it's in the heat of summer. This is just a really nice thing. And every time I go to refill it, 
I just feel super virtuous. Plus I get a discount on it. Like what? why would you not want to refill this adorable bottle of face oil and hair oil and hair spray and hair conditioner? There's a lot of things for my hair. My final item is my Allbirds underwear. I honestly didn't realize just how much better your life is when you have good quality underwear until I met Leah. Levi was wearing some horrible pairs of underwear for quite a long time. Uh, ones that he had since he was a teenager. Not that there's anything wrong with reusing and wearing things for as long as you can, <laughs> but when there are literal holes, exactly the places where you want fabric, like that's where underwear is designed to cover you, you don't want holes. Basically, Levi was wearing assless chaps. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, that's not underwear anymore. So these are my Allbirds underwear. The reason why I like these ones kind of the most right now is because they have a great blend of materials. These are made out of tensile wood fibers, merino wool, and 7% Lycra. So that's only 7% of some kind of plastic like material, and they feel amazing. They breathe really well. And his ass looks great in them. So. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not the ass person in this relationship. No, but if you're somebody such a cheap has. Bum. <laughs> you... <laughs> not to say that all birds are the best ever. I have. <laughs> Um, Patagonia underwear that I've really, really enjoyed in the past. Also, if you want to try out Allbirds underwear for yourself, uh, there's an affiliate link down in the description where a small kickback goes back to supporting this channel. If you're gonna buy them, buy them through that link. Helps us out. Full transparency. So the last thing for me is my IUD. Uh, this is obviously not the one that's actually in my I body. I gonna pull it out. Of like, course, <laughs> people want to know what it looks like, right? Right, so this is the copper IUD, the little T shape here. And what I love about the IUD is that it is the safest and most effective form of contraception. And I would argue probably the most eco-friendly. This tiny piece of copper and plastic or hormones and plastic can be in your body for up to seven years. Most people have it in for about five. I am on my second one, so that's 10 years of not having to worry about getting a regular period or not having- Condoms. Or condoms or pill. other or pill or other types of birth control options that create a lot more waste. I have an entire episode of the podcast coming out where I'm talking about different forms of contraception. An IUD is not gonna be the best option for everyone, but I'm letting you know for me, I have the hormonal IUD. It has been a game changer. It's not as scary as it looks. This is literally just to put it inside you. Only this is actually inside your uterus. Of course, if you are interested in learning more about this, there will be a full episode linked down in the description. Well, hopefully some of these things were interesting or maybe insightful for you. A uh, little glimpse into our lives and the things that we can't live without. Uh, I wanna thank you for being here, for showing up and watching the video. We know that we gave you a broad scope of different things, but that was our hope, is to show you that we are environmentalists, but we also like to have fun, we like to cook, we enjoy having sex, and these are all things that are important when you're looking at a full human being and the things that are valuable in their lives. So super appreciate you coming here for this eclectic mix of 10 things. But regardless <laughs> of your thoughts on all of our stuff that we can't live without, we wanna thank you for being here, for taking the time out of your day to spend some of it with us. And if you are subscribed to the channel, then of course, we will see you in the next one. Bye. that's been i don't know maybe don't put that in your mouth <laughs> that's so true what the hell oh, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs>